sewing lookbook behind the scenes fitting is this episode that's coming up. Hello fashion sellers, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. If you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Colleen and if you enjoy fashion sewing techniques and refashioning old or new clothing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So in this episode, I am going to be showing you the fitting of my coat, my reversible coat. Here it is, almost complete now. So the only section I haven't sewn up is the armhole and the shoulder seam, but most of it's sewn now. So um, before I go ahead and sew that on the sewing machine, I just want to show you the fitting, what I more or less do when it comes to um, fitting of garments. So let's give this a try and let's see what I need to alter or may not need to alter, which is um, which would be better, I think. Um, yeah, so I'll give this a try on and um, yeah, let's get going. Okay. So here's my coat. This is the right side of fabric. Um, but as you know, I like both sides. But um, yeah, so what I decided to do is have the seam, you know, as though you make it up as an as though I'm making up this coat as though this is the right side. So you've got all that going on, you know, the raw edges on the inside. Um, but obviously I'm going to be neatening that and I'll show you that technique. Um, for the sleeve. Um, it's a flat bell um, seam that I've used but I'll give you a bit more of a close-up so that you can see that nice finish on the right side of the fabric and also the right side of the other fabric of the other coat. <laughs> so let's give that a try. I have to be careful because um, I've only based the shoulders so I'm gonna have to make sure that I don't battle with it too much. So, yeah, careful. So always try and make sure that you have a full length mirror. Oh, that is, oh, I like that. That is good. That's a good sleeve shape. And I didn't go ahead and do the, I hope you can see that, the dot, the, I remember I told you that I didn't want a dot there and that looks really, really well fitted around the bust area here. And what I did was, um, there was too much ease for this thickness of fabric, so I raised it up a little bit into the armhole and whatever ease I could ease into the side seam, that's what I did. So, but that is a good fit. And that is a good shape to a sleeve as well. I'm liking that, it's really nice. Yeah, I think that will turn out really well. I like the fabric, the fabric is very sturdy because it's a, it's a chenille fabric. I'll show you a little mistake that I did as well. Uh, yeah, I'll share that with you. Um, is anyone else coming to remove the basting? But, <laughs> oh no. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying that fit. The, the thing with the collar though, is that towards the back of the collar it's rippling a little bit and that's because of the finish that I've done to the collar but I think I can salvage that um, and it's good shoulder alignment as well without shoulder pads that is turned out really well so let me just show you the back and sleeve fits at the back and now what I'll do I'll turn it on the wrong side Pocket clip, the, uh, the patch pockets are on this side as well. So there's no patch pockets on the inside <laughs> on the other coat, let's say. So turn it the way around. Careful because that's just based. And also because I don't want the, the seam lines to stretch, so you really have to be careful when you're doing this. It's really looking nice. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. And that is the sleeve is looking really nice as well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll just show you a step back a little bit. That is a good fit. It's a good fit reversible coat. No pockets. What am I gonna do with my hands? I'm a person who likes to put hands in in pockets and clothing, so um no that'd be fine. That's because I didn't want the bulk, but I think it possibly could have coped with having pockets on the other side of the coat. But no, I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm happy. So all I need to do now is do a fat bell seam on the shoulders. And then um, when it comes to the seam on the sleeve, um, I'm going to kind of roll that back onto itself and then hand stitch it into place. So a lot of hand stitching has gone into this coat, but it's worth it and I love it. Yeah, so that's a fitting. Happy with everything. I don't have to do any adjustments apart from the collar because it, it, it's, it's kind of wavering just a little bit. So that's going to take some hand sewing um, for me to get it, but no, to get it not as wavy, but no, it feels at the right height, but no, I'm happy with that. Okay, so let me show you where I made the little mistake. Hopefully you can see it there. There. See that there? Yeah, what happened was when I was doing the flat bell seam and I based and then uh, a hand sewn and then you know when you pull your basting out and what happened is you, you always get one that little tiny one that's always stuck in the whatever it is you're basting so it was very stubborn and it wouldn't come out so I decided to get a needle and kind of like ease it out and what happened is that I took some of the fat, a strand of the fabric <laughs> and because it's chenille, this is giving me a little fringe here. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to remedy that, remedy that and um, yeah, maybe tuck it in there somehow and then do some casting stitches to see if I can get it to look like the other one on the other side, which is perfect. See, that is gorgeous. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a little thing I'm going to have to remedy before I do wear this coat. That is my coat that is ready to be completed by just doing the shoulders to here and the armhole. And then, yeah, it will be complete. And in the next episode, I'll show you all the different techniques that I've used on this coat to get this reversible coat to be one of my favourites. Well, yeah, one of my favourite coats. I've got lots of favourite coats. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. So if you have any comments or queries, please put those in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please do share. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and remember to hit the bell to receive notifications and I will see you in the next episode.